all right guys welcome back to my channel we're getting right into the video i'm showing you guys what the wig looks like from the inside out first i'm just showing you guys um kind of like the inside construction um we have two combs behind the frontal we have adjustable straps and then a comb also in the back and as you can see there are tracks on this wig so this is strictly just a frontal wig a lace frontal wig now this video is for my beginners this video should basically help you uh prepare your wig for wear basically on how to fix your wig with uh minimal steps basically um so all we're gonna do is bleach the knots and yeah I'm just gonna show you guys how to kind of like style it out of the box so i'm using l'oreal quick blue bleach and then um just like the store brand beauty supply brand 20 developer um and these are the steps i take to bleach my knots really quick and easy i like using 20 developer especially for newbies is better because with the 20 it doesn't process as fast as the 40 and it's not as harsh on the hair um but you can use whatever bleach you want to it's just really up to you so one scoop of the l'oreal quick blue and then i add in some of the 20 developer mix it up um and the consistency it doesn't have to be necessarily stiff but you don't want it too watery so the test you can do is basically stick the brush into the bleach and shake the brush and if the product kind of clumps and falls you're good um but if it's like watery and runny then it's a net eh. okay so the hair that we're working with today is from yolissa hair this is their water wave frontal wig and the wig is 16 inches um i have the 180 density and the lace on the wig is transparent meaning that you can uh color it tint it to whatever color you need it to be so that's a super plus now to get started i do spray some water on the hairline and i use that water to help brush the hair back away from the lace because when they have the little baby hairs down like how they normally are when you first get your wig uh they be in the way and then they also get bleached when you go in to bleach your knots so you want to be careful like very careful with that because you'll have blonde baby hairs and brown hair and that's not cute so i just go in with my comb brush whatever you have and just use that to brush the hair back now once you've done that step you want to just go in either with the color brush um if you have a knife a spoon whatever you have and just slide the bleach on there don't push it in because if you push the bleach in you're gonna have blonde roots the whole point to bleaching the knots is to literally bleach the little black dots that you see on your lace and it creates the illusion that you have scalp like it's, it's, it's coming out your head that's the purpose of this step if you don't want to you can always go in and do the stocking cap method or something like that those methods work as well but bleaching the knots is just like it has to happen for me in my wig so you do the same thing all the way down the whole entire frontal just make sure that you're not pushing the bleach through the lace just on the lace um and if you do happen to get some bleach on some little straggly hairs or whatever just wipe them off real quick as long as you're quick with it quick and efficient uh, you won't have any over bleach knots or any problems with any other hairs. That's not supposed to be blonde, turn it blonde.
All right, so once you let your lace sit for a couple minutes, maybe 35 to 40 minutes, um, for me, especially with 20 developer, I go on with shimmer lights. If you don't have shimmer lights, um, the shortcut would be adding any type of purple dye or shampoo to your bleach mixture and that will help take away the brassiness but if you have shimmer lights you just go on with shimmer lights or any purple shampoo whatever or um get a regular shampoo and add some purple dye to it and shampoo the hair with that and make sure you're scrubbing on the lace and for me once i fully shampoo the hair i do leave the um shimmer lights on the hair for a couple minutes and then i'll come back and rinse it out and then go into the styling process. All right, so here on this step, all I'm doing is showing you guys the hairline and I'm actually gonna brush out the extra hair from plucking the wig. I did not pluck during this tutorial because I have a separate plucking tutorial. So I will leave that link in the description box. Make sure you guys check out that video. Um, if your wig is pre-plugged, you really don't have to go in and pluck. But if you're anything like me, I like mine to look a little bit more natural. So that's all I'm doing, just um, brushing out the extra hair. Okay, so now that our wig is ready, um, here's me looking a hot mess. So I'm just showing you guys my updated uh finna put on a wig routine so this is like a really really old wash and go so i like to part off the back sections of my hair first just spraying some water and i'm not adding any product because there's already product in my hair from the wash and go um so once my hair is fully detangled i just do a little plait no fancy corn roll none of that this is very good for the people who don't know how to corn roll because i myself don't know how to do so so when I'm finished, I end up with six braids. So I do two in the back, two in the middle section, and then two in the front. And then I pull all the braids to the back and put those under my wig cap. Um, I used to do two pigtails, but they started getting like too like chunky under my wigs. And I just like my wigs to lay like super duper flat. So not only is this cool for under the wig, but once you take off your wig and you do your edges and take out the braids, you got a nice little braid out, period, poo. Now for the install, I'm going to be using the Chic Bond Lace Glue. 
um and right here i'm just putting on the wig you always want to make sure that you measure your wig before you actually cut the lace one because if it doesn't fit you can always send it back to the vendor but if you cut the lace before you actually figure out that it doesn't fit your head they more than likely will not give you a refund an exchange or whatever else so if you've watched any of my regular hair tutorials install videos you know that i start in the middle first so i applied my chic bond and blow dried on cool once it got clear i laid the lace down and used my comb to push the lace into the glue um and this install was pretty quick actually especially because it wasn't runny or anything so i didn't have to worry about it running down my face and all that good stuff so once i finished applying the lace and pushing the lace into the glue um i went ahead and cut the lace off and proceeded to a regular styling um i didn't really do an install video this is kind of like more preparation to wear the wig type of thing here um because i have so many install videos using different glues and adhesives um so make sure you guys do check out my lace glue series it is in the playlist section of my channel but in the next clip you guys are going to see what your wig should look like if you follow these steps So now that everything is laid and slayed and all that good stuff, I'm just going in with water. This is a, a water wave wig and hair texture, so it takes literally nothing to style this. That's like my favorite thing about water wave hair, especially because you can always have that wet look if you add like any product, conditioner, or whatever else it may be. Um, but I just went in with water just for the sake of the video and because that's normally what I do. I didn't want to do nothing, you know, different. Um, then I'm going to spray some got to be glued uh around the edges and around the part just to hold the hair back a little bit and this is really a really good method for people who don't have hot combs um but basically this is the finished look a nice flat install with a nice summer perfect wig i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you want some more beginner friendly videos love you guys and i will see you in the next one